Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book All In, a creation by Billy Jean King. All In 2021 chronicles the extraordinary life of Billie Jean King, the trailblazer who championed gender equality in women's sports, causing a global impact. King's unwavering activism and determination led to tangible legislative reforms in the United States, extending far beyond athletics. Throughout her journey, she faced personal challenges that would only find resolution later on. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Billie Jean King rose from playing tennis on public courts in Southern California to becoming the top-ranked female player worldwide. She spearheaded the establishment of the inaugural Women's Professional Tennis Tour, accumulating an impressive 39 Grand Slam titles in the process. Furthermore, she co-founded the Billie Jean King Leadership Initiative and serves as a global ambassador for the Billie Jean King Cup. With 11 key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On StoryPlaner.net To start, this is an inspirational story featuring one of the greatest athletes and activists of our time. Billie Jean King changed the game of tennis and challenged gender inequality in sports. Her success as a tennis player led to major changes in professional sports and influenced the creation of the Title IX legislation. Before King, women had limited opportunities in sports, but her accomplishments opened up paths for female athletes and increased their earnings. King dedicated her life to equality and her story includes finding her passion through sports, being publicly outed due to an extramarital affair, and benefiting from a sponsorship that helped push for equal pay in tennis. Key idea number one. The Rules of the Game is a text that outlines the guidelines and principles that govern a particular activity or situation. It provides a framework for understanding expectations, behaviour and outcomes. Following the rules is essential for fair play, order and effective participation. In 1954, 10-year-old Billie Jean Moffat fell in love with tennis and decided it would be her lifelong passion. Her parents supported her dreams despite their working-class background. Billie Jean faced obstacles such as the lack of female representation in sports and discrimination from neighborhood boys. But she remained determined and used these challenges as motivation. Key idea number two. This text discusses the importance of understanding what it takes to achieve success. It emphasizes the need for hard work, determination and perseverance. It also highlights the importance of setting clear goals and prioritizing tasks. The text encourages readers to develop a strong work ethic and to continuously seek personal growth and improvement. In 1954, Billie Jean received her first tennis lesson from Clyde Walker, who recognized her talent and encouraged her. She also drew inspiration from her pastor, Rev Bob Richards, who preached the importance of hard work and the potential for anyone to become a champion. Despite a rough start in her first juniors match, Billie Jean trained tirelessly and began winning matches consistently. As she became more involved in the tennis world, she noticed the lack of diversity and decided that if she became the number one player, she would use her platform to fight for equal rights and unite people. Key idea number three. The article discusses the importance of developing skills off the basketball court. It highlights the fact that success in basketball not only relies on physical abilities, but also on mental and personal growth. Building relationships, improving communication skills, and managing finances are key off-court skills that can greatly impact a player's overall success. The article encourages athletes to prioritize these off-court skills and provides tips for how to do so. In 1957, 13-year-old Billie Jean was inspired by world-class tennis player Althea Gibson's performance at the Pacific Southwest Championships. Althea Gibson was the first black player to compete in the U.S. National Championships in 1950 and the first black player to win a Grand Slam title in 1956. 
Billie Jean admired her grace, precision and skills. Billie Jean herself won a junior singles tournament, earning her a membership to the Los Angeles Tennis Club. She became aware of the hypocrisy in the tennis world regarding amateur and professional players. While big tournaments like Wimbledon were amateur-only events, winning only brought a trophy and a small gift voucher. Althea Gibson went professional in 1959, stating, you can't eat trophies. Billie Jean struggled financially and had to rely on local fundraisers to afford travel expenses. The U.S. Lawn Tennis Association could only provide modest per diem payments. Key idea number four. When Billy Met Larry is a story about a meeting between two individuals named Billy and Larry. Billy Jean Moffitt, a young tennis player, won the Women's Doubles Championship at Wimbledon in 1961. Despite this success, she faced pressure to settle down and struggled to go pro due to the lack of opportunities for women. She met Larry King, who made her aware of the inequality she faced as a female athlete. Inspired to make a change, she became even more determined to succeed. In 1964, after facing losses at Wimbledon and the US Nationals, she decided to go to Australia to improve her game. Key idea number five. This text is about a trip abroad that has the potential to bring about significant changes. Tennis player Billie Jean King had a rivalry with Margaret Court. They had several matches, with Billie Jean initially upsetting Margaret in 1962. Margaret got her revenge the following year. Billie Jean then went to Australia for training and improved her skills with the help of coach Mervyn Rose. She had financial support from Bob Mitchell. The training was intense, focusing on her reflexes, balance and footwork. Billie Jean also got to practice with top players like Margaret and Rod Laver, which made her stronger physically and mentally. Key idea number six. The text discusses the transition from amateur to professional status. It highlights the importance of dedication, skill development and mindset in order to excel in one's chosen field. It emphasizes the need for continuous improvement, seeking feedback and embracing challenges. The text also mentions the importance of setting goals and having a clear vision of success. Overall, it emphasizes the mindset and actions required to go pro in any area of life. Billie Jean King's training in Australia improved her game and boosted her confidence. She reached the number one spot in tennis in 1967. There were significant changes happening in the US, including civil rights and counterculture movements. In sports, Muhammad Ali spoke out against the Vietnam War and Catherine Switzer ran the Boston Marathon, challenging male-only rules. Tennis also underwent a major change with Wimbledon announcing the acceptance of both professionals and amateurs, allowing for prize money. However, there was a major disparity in prize money for men and women, leading Billie Jean to lead a fight for equal pay in tennis. Key idea number seven, a new tour has been created. The original nine players, including Billie Jean King and Rosie Casals, risked their careers to launch a new women's tennis tour. They were tired of being controlled by a small group of men and sought to create their own tournaments. Gladys Heldman, a former player and founder of World Tennis magazine, secured sponsorship and came up with a clever way to bypass the USLTA rules. The players signed $1 contracts for outside events, Billie Jean King used her popularity and platform to advocate for equality and highlight the disparity in prize money. The Virginia Slims Tour was a success, holding 14 tournaments in just three and a half months. The players took control of their careers and showcased their colorful personalities, drawing in crowds from around the country. Key idea number eight. This text is about a situation involving someone named Bobby, there is a plan or intention to take down Bobby, but it does not provide any information about the reason or specifics of the plan. Billie Jean King knew Bobby Riggs from her childhood and was upset when he challenged Margaret Court to a tennis match. She felt that Court's acceptance was supporting Riggs's sexist beliefs. Determined to prove him wrong, Billie Jean decided to play against Riggs herself. The match took place in a circus-like atmosphere with a lavish setup created by Riggs. Just before the match, Billie Jean's nerves got to her. 
but a visit to a Virginia Slims tour party reminded her of the impact of women's tennis and gave her confidence. She went on to defeat Bobby Riggs in three straight sets and proved him wrong. Key idea number nine, a love affair has been revealed to the public. Billie Jean King, initially identified as straight, but had an affair with a woman while married to her husband, Larry. Larry was understanding and they remained devoted to each other. They became closer as business partners and worked on various projects together. Billie Jean met Marilyn Barnett in 1972 and they had a personal and professional relationship. But Marilyn became possessive and demanding, leading to a lawsuit in 1978, where Marilyn claimed a share of Billie Jean's earnings. Despite the lawsuit, Billie Jean was still unable to fully come out as a lesbian publicly. Key idea number 10. The text is unclear and does not provide any specific information or content to summarize. Can you please provide a more specific text or topic? Billie Jean was publicly outed by Marilyn, but she was still in love with Ilana Kloss. Billie Jean and her husband Larry fought and won a lawsuit against Marilyn and remained committed to each other. Billie Jean struggled with the idea of coming out due to fear of losing work opportunities and sponsors. Ten years later, she divorced Larry and came out fully. She later sought treatment for an eating disorder and told her parents she was gay. In 2006, she publicly discussed her relationship with Ilana in a documentary. She married Ilana in 2018 to solidify their commitment. Key idea number 11, pride and progress, is a concept that combines the sense of accomplishment and self-worth with the idea of constant improvement and growth. It emphasizes taking pride in one's achievements while also striving for continuous progress. It encourages individuals to have a positive mindset, embrace challenges, and be proactive in their personal and professional development. Billie Jean and Ilana are part owners of the Los Angeles Sparks Ballon NBA team. Billie Jean is also an activist in the LGBTQ community. She represented the US at the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi to raise awareness about LGBTQ club persecution in Russia. She met a teenage boy named Vlad, who was facing abuse and bullying in Sochi. With the help of the US State Department, she got him out of Russia and helped him study at her alma mater. Vlad eventually fell in love and witnessed his first pride parade in New York City. Billie Jean is also proud of the advancements made with Title which led to equal prize money for men and women in major tennis tournaments. Female tennis players have gone from earning next to nothing to being the top earning sports figures in the world. In conclusion, Billie Jean King, a legendary tennis player, not only wanted to be the best in the sport, but also aimed to bring people together. She achieved her goal by advocating for equality in sports, leading to the creation of the Women's Tennis Association. King won 129 career titles and is a founding member of the Women's Tennis Association. She had the US Open grounds renamed in her honor and received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama. She also continues to serve on the board of the Women's Sports Foundation. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.